Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Good morning. They said it was going to be overcast today. Not so far. <laughs> I think I'm going to call this video Shrimp and Sunshine. Maybe Sunshine and Shrimp. It looks like we're going to get plenty of sunshine. And I know I still have plenty of shrimp to cook. I want to take care of that today. I'll tell you what, guys. It always seems like I'm fighting the wind and the sun. I have my dehydrated eggs. Added water to them. I don't know if they're dehydrated or uh, what's the other process? Freeze-dried. I'm going to have to check with my friend Leah. She had uh, sent me three packages. I know it looks like a pancake. I don't know what that light flash was. <laughs> and of course shrimp shrimp and sunshine I had a leftover cooked shrimp I kept in a thermos I don't have any sauces they tend to go bad we got ketchup enjoyed breakfast got everything cleaned up and before things get too hectic I have uh, two books I'm going to read from. One is the Bible. You may have heard of it. And I'm starting a novel by James Patterson and Dolly Parton called Run, Rose, Run. While that's going on, I'm going to have my coffee and enjoy the boats going out to fish for the day. I was checking my uh, Facebook feed and there's a local photographer, uh, Michael Harris, takes excellent photographs of this area. And he said this very well could be a dead dolphin. That's what he feels it is. And my eyes just aren't good enough. I will let uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife know just in case no one has informed them. Sad to see if it is a dolphin. What do you guys think? I'm not really sure. Michael had uh, phoned and reported it. And I didn't know he had called yet. I phoned and reported it. So hopefully they will get someone out here. It's sad to see. I, I hope it was of natural causes. Not getting clipped by a boat or something like that. I was just driving through the section where most of the seagulls are, and there were uh, a series of gunshots, and all the seagulls took off. And up at one of the larger cabanas, there's a crowd doing some type of military observation. Looks like they had five or six riflemen and a uh, trumpet player and everyone was uh, standing. So I didn't even want to get close. I didn't want to film them, just wanted to give them their privacy. But there's always that split second when you hear gunfire. Um, I'm used to hearing it in the distance during duck season around here, but that was, you know, 50 yards away. I'm, I'm glad it was for a remembrance because the world's crazy. I wanted to thank my friend Renee, who was kind enough to send me an extremely generous gift through PayPal. Thank you very much, Renee. It's greatly appreciated. 
just listening to the skimmers bark. Thanks again, friend. Well, this is my seventh meal of <laughs> shrimp and broccoli. And I had a little container of pre-cooked wild rice that I added to it. And uh, this was really good. Now, I had another whole bag of shrimp. And I'm cooking that all at once. And I have a thermos. I'm going to put it in there and have some shrimp tacos tonight and tomorrow. I don't really understand how the weatherman or weather person, <laughs> weather human, it's probably done by computers, would call this an overcast day. Clouds in the sky, but the sun is shining. I got a joke from the joke calendar. You ready? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? That's an easy one. It was Eugene. Hey, Eugene, we better have a reminder here. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> Nacho cheese, nice. Rockport's having a little kite festival today. And unlike last year, there's actually some kites. <laughs> some really cool ones. If you remember from last year, it was too windy for the kite festival. I mean, there were some really powerful winds coming through. I'm glad they're getting a good day for it. We'll make it official. Rockport Kite Festival, April 13th, 2024. 10 a.m. Come on, car. To 10 p.m. Rockport Festival Grounds. Of course, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be three or four days too late, but pretty neat event. They got some, uh, sounds like they got some live music over there as well. I'll tell you what, watching all these kites is making me hungry. I think it's dinner time. I wonder if I'm having shrimp. Pretty neat, guys. This is the view from Luciano's area. Dinner was good. I'm gonna hang out here and enjoy the kites and then uh, wait on the sunset. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.